Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to explain one of the interesting features provided by Databricks in Spark SQL. That is, how to use the accept function while selecting number of columns from a Databricks or Spark table. This feature is available starting from Databricks Runtime version 9.1. Even though this looks a simple feature, but this is powerful and it's a lifesaver for most of the developers during data engineering and data analytics use cases. Let's get started with the demo. I have logged into my Databricks environment. My cluster is up and running. So first in the first step, I'm going to create sample data frame using which I can walk through in this demo. Right, sample data frame is created. This is having product related information, which is containing 10 columns. Now, I'm going to uh, show this feature using Spark SQL. So I want to convert this uh, data frame into view. I'm creating a view products using create or replace temp view. So temp view got created. Now, now I let's assume I have to perform certain data analytics on this uh, table. So traditionally, in order to select all the columns from the table, what we can do is we can write a simple select statement. In the from class, we have to give one or more tables and coming to select class, we have to provide list of columns that we are interested in. Select class that is actually used to limit the data projection, which means in order to limit the number of columns. How where class is used to limit number of uh, records using certain condition. Similarly, select class is used to limit number of columns in our output. Right. By default, I want to see the output of all columns. So I'm using select class. I have explicitly mentioned all the 10 columns. So let me execute so that we can see the output. So here we can see the output. I have given all the columns as a result. I got the output by containing all the columns. So this is a one, one of the simple data set. I'm having only 10 columns, but in real time we might have many number of columns. Traditionally, most of the databases were supporting maximum of 254 columns per table. But in the later versions in today's world, we can have thousands of columns. And even in my uh, projects, I have used 5000 plus columns for my spark table. So if that is a situation, it's not good idea to write all the columns explicitly. So for that, there is one more option provided by uh, traditional databases or even spark SQL that is nothing but a, a star. Whenever we are giving star, it means Spark engine or uh, SQL engine will internally uh, check the metadata for this table. Then it will retrieve all the columns and the star will be replaced by all the columns. So whenever we are giving uh, a certain query using star, internally it is going to convert that query to this format. So it's always uh, better to explicitly specify the column in terms of performance. Why? Because we can avoid the overhead so that the SQL engine does not does not need to look at the metadata and retrieving all the columns and replacing the query that is not needed. But whenever we are doing certain data analytics, it's not uh, possible to write all the columns manually. So what we can do is we can simply give select star that is fine. But imagine in this uh, uh, data analytics, I have used all the 10 columns for my exploration. But in real time, we are not going to select all the columns. In most of the scenarios, we are interested in only in certain columns. Let us assume in this table, I want to perform data analytics, but I'm not interested in the columns category and active. That is the last column. I'm not interested. Then what I can do in the traditional way, I can select only the columns which I'm interested in. So I'm not uh, specifying category or active. So I'm writing a select query, which is going to give me output without category and active. Right. This is fine as long as I am having few number of columns in a table. But whenever I am having huge number of uh, columns in a table, uh, like uh, as I mentioned, let's say there is a table which is having 5000 columns. So out of that, I have to select 4500 columns or, you know, I want I don't want to select only 10 columns remaining 4990 columns. I want to select then uh, what is the solution? It's not possible to write all the columns manually. But still in the traditional databases, we don't have any other approach. We have to explicitly write all the column names. But coming to Spark SQL, this interesting feature is provided. With the help of that, we can simplify our work. Right. So for that, we can use the function except. So in the modern or uh, best approach would be using except, except uh, function. Let's say from the products table, I don't want to select only category and active. Remaining all the columns I want to select. Then for that, I can use select star except. Then I have to provide the list of columns which I am not interested in. 
so here there is no comma in between star and except this uh, whole uh, piece of code that is single logic so here the meaning is select star star means all select all except category and active that is the meaning of that so let me execute so even though this looks uh, simple but this is very powerful when we are having huge number of columns for a table i hope you understood and this function not only for single table even whenever we are joining certain uh, table it's a complex query it will be uh, it, it will be life saver for those scenarios also so in my next exercise i am going to create two different uh, views one is product another one is customer so here we can see the output product which is having three columns my customer that is having four columns and product id that is a joining key so now i am going to perform join in my data analytics so here we can see from class i am uh, choosing product b product p and uh, customer c i am joining based on the purchase product id from uh, customer and product id from product and i want to select only certain columns from both the tables product and customer so by default all the columns from both the tables will be selected in order to avoid that i am explicitly mentioning the number of columns that i am interested in so while selecting the columns from product i am interested in all the columns except brand so only two columns i am interested in product similarly coming to customer table i am interested in all the columns except customer id so i am giving c which means customer table select everything star except customer i customer id so instead of having seven columns it is going to return only five columns for me two columns from product three columns from customer here we can see this is how we can use except function even for complex uh, joining queries as well and this is the functionality available in spark sql even this uh, same requirement is uh, needed for uh, pi spark uh, data frame also but in pi spark in order to select uh, specific columns from uh, in order to exclude specific columns from a data frame we don't have any direct solution but there is a workaround in pi spark that is nothing but python list comprehension so here uh, uh, in a data frame let's say we are having data frame which is having 10 columns but i am not interested uh, in category and active how i can exclude for that in the select class basically we have to give list of columns so here we can see square bracket which means that is uh, going to contain list of uh, values which is nothing but list of columns in this case so here the logic is i am uh, creating a for loop in the for loop df dot columns which means this is going to retrieve all the columns from the data frame then i am going to iterate uh, all the columns one by one using for each and within that i am going to check if that particular column that is not part of this one if this is not part of this one then only you select this one this is called a list comprehension so using this work around i can uh, select only the columns which i am interested in so i am excluding the columns using this word so in case let's say i am having 5000 columns in this data frame i am not interested only in 10 columns then i can specify here this is the work around available in pi spark so let me execute so that we can see here we can see it is not um, uh, containing category and active in the output this is how we can exclude specific column you, uh, in spark sql or pi spark i hope you understood the concept hope this will be helpful for your data engineering and data analytics use cases if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel please subscribe this channel and don't forget to click on the bell button to get the latest updates in databricks and spark concepts thank you